SwiftUI enables custom drawing with two subtly different types, paths and shapes. A path is a series of drawing instructions such as start here, draw a line to there, then add a circle there, all using absolute coordinates. In contrast, a shape has no idea where it will be used or how big it will be used, but instead it will be asked to draw itself inside a given rectangle. Helpfully, shapes are built using paths, so once you understand paths, shapes are easy. Also, just like paths, colors and gradients, shapes are views, which means we can use them alongside text views, images and so on. SwiftUI implements shape as a protocol with a single required method. Given the following rectangle, what path do you want to draw? This will still create a return a path just like using a raw path directly. But because we're handed the size the shape will be used at, we know exactly how big to draw our path. We no longer have to rely on fixed coordinates. For example, previously we made a triangle using a path, but we could wrap that in a shape to make sure it automatically takes up all the space available, like this. Struct triangle conforms to shape. Func path in rect cg rect returns path. var path equals path. path.move to cg point x rect.midx y rect.miny. path.addline to cg point x rect.minx y rect.maxy. path.addline to cg point x rect.maxx y rect.max y and path or add line to cg point x rect.mid x y rect.min y and return path. That job is made much easier by cg rect, which provides for us helpful properties such as min x, which is the smallest x value in the rectangle, or max x, the largest x value in the rectangle and mid x, the midpoint between min x and max x. We could then create a red triangle at a precise size like this. Triangle, dot fill, color dot red, dot frame, width 300, height 300. Shapes also support the same stroke style parameter for creating more advanced strokes. Dot stroke, color dot red, style, stroke style, Line width 10, line cap dot round, line join dot round. The key to understanding the difference between path and shape is reusability. Paths are designed to do one specific thing, whereas shapes have the flexibility of drawing space and can also accept parameters to let us customize them further. To demonstrate this, we could create an arc shape that accepts three parameters start angle, end angle, and whether to draw the arc clockwise or not. This might seem simple enough, particularly because path has an add arc method, but as you'll see, it has a couple of interesting quirks. Let's start with the simplest version of an arc shape. Struct arc, conform to shape. Var start angle, angle. Var end angle, angle. Var clockwise, bool. Func path in rect, cg rect, returns path. Var path equals path. Path dot add arc center CG point X rec dot mid X Y rec dot mid Y Radius rec dot width divided by two Start angle start angle End angle end angle Clockwise clockwise Return path We can now create an arc like this Arc start angle dot degrees zero, end angle, dot degrees 110, clockwise true, dot stroke, color dot blue, line width 10, dot frame, width 300, height 300. If you look at the preview for our arc, chances are it looks nothing like you expect. We asked for an arc from zero degrees to 110 degrees with a clockwise rotation but we appear to have been given an arc from 90 degrees to 200 degrees with a counterclockwise rotation. What's happening here is twofold. First, in the eyes of SwiftUI, zero degrees is not straight upwards, but instead directly to the right. And second, shapes measure the coordinates from the bottom left corner rather than the top left corner, 
which means Swifty Y goes the other way around from one angle to the other. This is, in my not very humble opinion, extremely alien. We can fix both of these problems with a new path in method. It subtracts 90 degrees from the start and end angles, and also flips the direction so Swifty Y behaves the way nature intended. Let rotation adjustment equals angle dot degrees 90. Let modified start equals start angle minus rotation adjustment. Let modified end equals end angle minus rotation adjustment. Then for our start angle, we'll use modified start. For our end angle, we'll use modified end. And I'll do not clockwise for the clockwise parameter to flip that round. Run that code and see what you think. To me, it produces a much more natural way of thinking and neatly isolates SwiftUI's quirky drawing behavior.